The public had been warned. Shops and schools remained closed. Buses and cars were nowhere to be seen. Determined to impose a dawn till dusk nationwide shutdown, party activists from Jamaat and the Bangladesh Nationalist Party set buses on fire late on Saturday night. 10,000 police officers were deployed across the country. Now, authorities say they want to make sure that law and order is maintained. But here, outside the opposition party's headquarters, riot police are encircling the headquarters, effectively trapping the opposition inside their headquarters. The general strike was called in protest against the government's move to change the electoral system. The ruling party wants to get rid of a provision that requires it to hand over power at the end of its term to a caretaker government that would oversee elections. But the opposition do not trust the ruling party to hold fair and free elections. In 2007, an army-backed caretaker government intervened in an election marred by violence amid allegations of mass vote rigging by the main political parties. Several politicians were arrested, including the current Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and the opposition leader Khaled Azia. The political culture in Bangladesh is still such that nobody believes that the election can be held properly under a ruling government. The opposition says hundreds of its party members were arrested. Now as we spoke to Nazrul Islam Khan, policemen apprehended one of them. He was quickly whisked away in an unmarked car. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has invited the opposition members to come and discuss the matter in Parliament. But for the moment, politics is being played out on the streets. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dhaka.